I was 17 years old when my father passed away. I was doing my N levels that year. So that morning, I hugged him and I said, Bye, Daddy, I'm going to school. I'm going to study and all. He said, All right, bye bye, see you later, have a good day. So while I was studying and my, during my supplementary lessons, right, I got a call from my mother. So when I went out of class, I answered. She, she was screaming and crying and she said, Dad is hospitalized. And I was like, Okay, but this is common to me because he had four heart attacks, you see. So I thought everything is going to be all right. So I was on my way, I was rushing down, I was in the train. But the minute I arrived at Novina and Mati, I got a call and she screamed and she said, no, we lost him. I couldn't digest what I heard, but something was telling me, no, everything is going to be all right because I'm naturally positive. But when I arrived at Tantau Singh Hospital, the doctor told me that, sir, we tried our best, but we lost him and he gave me the details. On one time he died and all, and I claimed his body and yeah, I saw him lying there motionless. When he passed away, I was really broken. I pushed everybody away from me except my mother, the woman who means the whole world to me and to see her cry every day and being devastated was really hurting. I mean, I asked God why? Why me? Why us? I mean, what did we do, especially at this age to face such a horrible experience? I mean, it was really unfair. I didn't get to live with my father that much or spend a lot of time with him because when I was two years old, he actually met with an accident and he was living with his sister so that she can look after him. So I only met him about once or twice a week when I was very young. So thereby I couldn't really know what it's like to have a father's love or whatsoever. Because I knew he was in pain and I understood it. Just two months before he passed away, we actually shifted together in a flat. And that was when I got to realize what was father's love like. But in terms of a teenager's point of view, well, we watched a lot of movies together, especially our favourite actor, Rajinikanth's movie, where he will be imitating his move by doing this and flipping the cigarette into his mouth and all of that. And we went out together to Little India, we had biryani together. He bought me all my favourite food and he shared with me all his stories where he went through in his early childhood days and during his teenage days and he gave me a lot of life advices. One of my greatest memories with him was when I went to Jurong Bird Park with him and my mother. I was so happy. He carried me and he put me on his shoulder. He showed me around. He said, look, those are flamingos, those are eagles. I was really amazed because all I knew birds were like minas and crows, but until I saw all kinds of birds over there. <laughs> so we had popcorns and ice creams. And as we walked, I was so happy. I was holding my mother and father's hands and I was dancing away. Until now, when I go there, I, f I feel that same energy there. It's a small boy because I, I can't recreate those memories again. But I remember, I was really engrossed and amazed by watching the waterfall. I mean, it was amazing, like seeing how the water falls and the rippling sound it, it makes and all. And until my dad came up to me and he said, Son, I looked at him. You know that's not real, right? I said, How is it not real? It's a waterfall. He said, Yeah, but this is a man-made waterfall. Real waterfalls are bigger, like what you see in the documentaries. I was like, Huh? <laughs> I was really disappointed, but... I have to accept the truth. I wish I had more time with him. I could take more photographs with him to create memories so I can show my kids in the future and tell them that this is your grandpa. Losing someone who's really dear to you can be very painful. You may never know what's going to happen next. So don't take life for granted. Treasure your loved ones while they're still with you.